So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you very much. So about a, a while back, this post on Facebook by a female truck driver had the whole internet trucking community in an uproar in the post that she said. About a couple of weeks back, we had some, uh, some terrible snowstorms and everything that kind of had the trucking community in the uproar. There were some accidents. There were some incidents. I hope everybody uh, was able to make it out of that. I know going down 70 and 80 was kind of hectic. A couple of trucks in the ditch. A couple of trucks had slid off because of black ice and everything. But this post that was posted in the facebook group i am not sure if this was a facebook group i think i saw this now i actually saw this post and i i i thought it was an interesting conversation I, I really did so i went on here and posted it in my community post to, to get the truckers to get their thoughts on uh this post that was posted and man oh man oh man oh man oh man did you guys come through now some of you guys i had to i had to step back a little bit because these are all your opinions but some of you guys have some harsh words for that young lady now let me stop the show for a minute because the young lady that posted this i have talked to her in the past uh, i think i had a conversation with her about a couple of years ago we, we haven't caught up uh, ever since but i had a conversation with her about a couple of years ago nice young lady enjoyable conversation shout out to sam sauce boss she broke the internet with that with the comment again like i said beautiful conversation with this young lady so i don't know what happened i i did reach out to her to get her thoughts about uh, why she posted it but it's all gravy but man when i posted this in the community post we generated about 90 comments and again a lot of you guys have some harsh comments but you got to understand this is this is her feeling okay this is how she felt and this is how she's gonna rock she said what she said she said no man should be asking how the roads are get out there and drive especially if you're a so-called trucker now uh, <laughs> a couple of guys in the comment session did have some clap back for her, like this guy right here he said hell even grown men want to make it home safe to their kids of course she had to clap back for him a man supposed to provide and protect by any means necessary how can you let weather get in the way of your responsibilities when is women like me driving through all 48 states in adverse weather i would have zero respect for such a man Boom. again y'all she said what she said she had another clap back from the same gentleman he says has nothing to do with gender everybody needs to exercise caution in this type of weather grown men grown women y'all funny and of course her last clap back to him was there's different age between caution but still making things happen and making excuses to be soft as hell as a man yes it is about gender because my status is specifically talking about grown men especially men that work the same trade as i do I said what I said. And shout out to Sam Sauce Boss. She generated a lot of comments on here. The comments in the in, in the community post generated uh, about 90 plus comments. And I thought I would open this topic up to a few trucker friends that came on and gave their thoughts about this uh this particular post again shout out to sound sauce boss uh great conversation that i had with her much respect to her and guys just know that this is her opinion and her thoughts no more wasting time let's get it hold on no man should be asking how the roads are get out there and drive 
especially if you're a so-called trucker. Yeah, she, she's out of her mind. She's out of her mind. She got balls, bro. That's crazy. Like, you can't ask for if the weather's good. Like, what, are you out of your mind? You gotta be crazy. You know? That's like if you ask me if it's a, a high jump off a bridge, if it hurts, I'll be like, yeah, go try it out. You shouldn't be asking me that. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? You should, you should know what the weather's like. You should be able to get on the radio and ask somebody, be like, hey, on a CB, yo, what's the weather conditions? Why would I want to find out that there's ice everywhere, you know, a couple miles on the road? Does that make sense? Kano wins. Fatality. She did come back with a rebuttal to a couple of, you know, to a couple of guys that disagree with her in her in her comment session. A man supposed to provide and protect by any means necessary. How can you let weather get in the way of your responsibilities when is women like me? Driving through all 48 states in adverse weather, I would have zero respect for such a man. What does that have to do with her, us asking? Asking if the weather's good. Like, she's the one that fuck around and finds out, but we can't ask somebody if the weather's good, uh, bad or good. Like, what the hell's the problem with that? I don't say she, she didn't answer the question or, like, her response doesn't define, like, what the, she said the first time. Does that make sense? You want to, she's on some woman power trip shit. So, okay, so you want to, you want to get like that. So if I provide, if I do everything a man's supposed to do and drive out into storms without knowing line storms, then when I get home, like my uncle from Croatia, he gets into the house. You better have dinner ready. You better have soup made. You better have my coffee. I, I, when I get there, I sit on the recliner. I lean my feet back and you take my feet off, my, my shoes off, change my socks and, and, and everything, put my slippers on. You know what I mean? Serve me like a king. Because where I come from, that's what girls do. And if you don't do that, you're not a woman. You know what I mean? So like, stop with that bullshit, yo. Crazy because you out there driving. You're Now you're just standing the other guy out of here. But her point was, and, uh, but her point was, her point in the first part, she goes, no man should ask about the weather, just need to get out there and drive. What the fuck is that? And her response, her rebuttal doesn't even, doesn't even make sense to that first comment. So it doesn't even make sense. Like, just because you are, so you, she's never asked how the weather is or got on the scene, like, yo, how the conditions, or if there's a cop or whatever, the DOT open, you never did anything, because that's the same So one of her commenters uh, came back with with a rebuttal. He says, uh, has nothing to do with gender. Everybody needs to exercise caution in this type of weather. Grown man, grown woman. Y'all funny. She came back with a rebuttal to that. There's different age between caution, but still making things happen and making excuses to be soft as hell as a man. Yes, it is about gender because my status is specifically talking about grown men, especially men. That work the same trade as I do. I said what I said. I, I would, I could never marry a chick like her. <laughs> I swear to God. She's gonna be single for a long time, bro. She's out of her mind. Like, she's crazy, bro. Out of here with that crap. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. Like, I'm, oh, my stat is my, this is my cop. You have that attitude, right? Oh, you should make things happen and do the, and, 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 and ignore all safety precautions and, and, and little tricks of the trade to know if you're good or not. And then when you get caught out there and you crash, when the day comes up, all those questions are going to come back at you and everyone's going to be like, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Did you know that fucking issue was fucked up? Did you know that the weather was up? What made you risk the truck yourself and everyone else for doing something stupid? Well, because you're trying to make something happen? You're trying to be a superwoman? That's when it all comes back and bites you in the ass. So keep talking. At you. Elena wins. Fatality. You know I had to I had to get the Godfather. 
I had to get the godfather of trucking in on this topic. What's going on? On this round table. What's going on, sir? Hey, ain't nothing. How you doing? I'm doing all right, my guy. How are you? How are you this uh non new year? The non <laughs> year. No, the, 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 the new year don't start until March. So and spring. Yeah. You see the first light of buds on the tree and tulips starting to come up out the ground, then you know it's new year. All just right. Look at, just keep an eye on the trees. I got this uh I got this controversial post in Facebook today. Wow. And and it's making its rounds throughout the internet. And no man should be asking how the roads are. Get out there and drive, especially if you're a so-called trucker. She should just go ahead and go back to wherever the hell she waitressed into that and call it a day, cause that that was the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And let me tell you something. We have CB radios when when trucking was real. You know, we say to one another, how's the road? You know why we ask that? So we get better prepare ourselves for our tour. Now for her to say that, it's crazy. That that, that was just that was just uh, a crazy statement made by a person. And it makes it even bad because it was a female who said it. And that just tells me that, you know, they don't know what to say. And, Mama always said, if you don't you have nothing nice to say or you don't know what to say, don't say nothing. And that's she just did that to stir some shit. That's all. What does being a trucker have to do with asking how's the roads? That would make you more of a trucker to ask another trucker how's the roads. Why? Because you're getting intel. Why do you have a phone with Google on it or the weather on it. It's the same thing. How's the weather? What's the difference? You're getting intel so you know how to prepare yourself. So she 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 really she really shot herself in the foot on that one. But she's somewhere laughing right now. Look what I got stirred up. She's she's sitting there laughing. Look what I got stirred up. You know I I, I just I just feel sorry for people like that. Well, sir, she came back with a rebuttal. A man supposed to provide and protect by any means necessary. How can you let weather get in the way of your responsibilities when is women like me? Driving through all 48 states in adverse weather, I would have zero respect for such a man. <sighs> Poor lot, Lizzie. No, that's just... That, that's just ignorance at that list right there. That's just a lot lizard with a truck. She's traveling to get her $40. That makes no sense. So you telling me because you're a man, you can't ask how's the weather so you can't prepare to pr provide so you know the safety and the best way to go about so you can provide for your family and protect and may come home? So you would be a total dumbass to go out and not ask anybody in passing how's the roads. So you just jump in your truck blindly in this automatic that you can't control and you hit that snow or you hit that ice or you hit bad rain or hydroplane that you just out there at the mercy of not knowing. She's a dumbass. And now I'm going to have to go back and find that comment, uh, that post, because I did see it two hours ago. And I'm going to have to let her know, kill yourself, because you're a dumbass. That makes absolutely no sense. If you think about this, you pulled into a truck stop or a rest area to use a 10 100. And you happen to look across the road and you see windshield wipers on one side. Ain't nothing going on where you at. But you happen to see headlights and windshield wipers going. What's the first thing you say to somebody who just pulled in and you see them with water and stuff? What's going It's raining down there? It's just out of habit. Yeah, it's kind of bad back there after the 40 mile marker. Be careful. That's information that you're getting to prepare yourself 
What if it's a bad accident and you say, I'm not gonna ask nobody shit, I am man. And now you done slammed your ass into a 50 car pileup and you out there four days with no supplies. See how stupid she sounds? Anybody that, any female that followed her and fed into her bullshit, they all should take a ride down the Delaware River on a fucking flat piece of wood. That's dumb, bro. Just dumb. Commenter in her post, he mentioned the fact that it has nothing to do with gender. Everyone needs to exercise caution in this weather. Her rebuttal to that is... There's different age between caution, but still making things happen. And making excuses to be soft as hell as a man. Yes, it is about gender because my status is specifically talking about grown men, especially men. That work the same trade as I do. I said what I said. Oh, I would love to catch her in the rocking chair and have her follow us. And I would love to see if she can keep up, even in dry weather, let alone bad weather. First of all, I already know from my years of experience, she ain't running through no bad weather. Now, you see me post videos where I'm the only fucking truck on the road. I ain't seen her out there. I've come through Colorado, I've come through Kansas, I've come through, I done came through Bear, uh, uh, Bear Mountain out of California, I done came, I done, I done been out here, I done come down the Grapevine, I've driven through Iowa, no chains, no chains, we didn't have chains, she's full of, of herself right now, her wig, her wig is too tight. Uh, the braids that they use underneath that wig, they, they got that shit too tight. She, she didn't know what to say. But I would love to catch her out on the road and tell her, I got a string on the back of my trailer. Grab hold to that. Let's ride. And let's see how good you are. Because she she's the type of person that will cause a major accident. I, let me, let, what, what are you supposed to do in a whiteout? When you, when you come across 90... And it's shut down. You're a man. She's a woman in the same industry. What does she do? She got to shut down like everybody else, right? No, not her. Her truck turns into a fucking uh, a snowmobile. And she got Amtrak wheels. And she keep it pushing. She's a retard. You know, coming down 80 or 70... You know, finding out if those roads are closed anyway is good information. I I would, I personally would like to know that. I, I I would ask if I'm on 70 and 80, which you know I I, I travel through Colorado, Wyoming, uh, mm -hmm. Utah. I I've been through those states. I I know how the weather and the traffic is out there. It, it was just a pile up not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So why why wouldn't me get ask? Or, yeah, get intel about what is going on. Maybe I could take that intel and you redirect of, yourself. Right. So instead of taking 80 or 70, I could probably take the truck routes. No. Jax wins. They ballot. You know, they got back roads that she would never be able to fucking drive. Yeah, you know, she's an interstate driver. I would love to see her come and follow us off road, off the interstates, and we go U.S. highways. And it's only two lanes going and coming. See, people like her, bro, is bad for business. You know, she and she really just stirred up just a gender thing, just to say something. She just, she's probably mad because her last truck stop trick didn't work. 
So she probably was on the back of the truck twerking and nobody paid her no attention or something. It's just terrible. But don't make stupid comments to say, grown man, don't be asking how's the roads or how's the weather. That's stupid. If you a grown man, that, that makes sense to say, hey, how's the weather down? How's the roads down there? got CB radio, you pick up the mic, you key it down, and you ask eastbound, westbound, northbound, southbound, how's the roads, how's the weather, what's the smoke you doing, are the coops open, you're getting intel, so you can make your adjustments in, in, in accordingly, bruh, she, she, she just really wasted life, and now, the thing about it is, it makes it so bad, she's getting attention, She's getting attention. She got attention. For you to call me, she she hit the golden egg. She got all the attention she needs. And I pray she hears this. I pray if you ever see DSX trucking, come along with me, sweetie. And let's find out how good you are. Because I sit a thousand miles without pissing. I would like to see her ride with me. If I'm riding with you, I know I need to bring my piss bottles with me. <laughs> because I know we ain't stopping. <laughs> you better. Especially if the money on the line. <laughs> if, they I, say I, they, if they say they got a load that we got to get done and we got to be there tomorrow, yeah, you better go ahead and uh, tighten up there, young man. I, uh, I, I think you will probably be the first person that will actually get me to to bring a bucket with me because I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, you know, I always say that, nah, I ain't going to, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, do a number two on my truck, whatever, whatever. Hey, listen, I could just pull listen, over. Bro. But I think listen. if I'm riding with you, I think oh, I'm going to have to, I, I think I'm going to have to get a piss bottle and a bucket to ride with you, bro. I told you four years ago about the bucket. It's called the all purpose bucket. That bucket, that bucket is for everything. How many videos have you seen where I broke down and that bucket came out? That bucket helped you carry your tools. Well, you guys don't have tools. See, there we go. That bucket helped you carry water from out the creek. Oh, you guys ain't never had to go down there on the side of the road and find water to put in the radiator. See, it's an all-purpose bucket. It ain't just for in the truck for the number two. Actually, it's the wastebasket. Put your black, you put your bag in there, and you never know. You get a good paying load, and you can't stop. And you want the pretty drivers, you gotta stop and waste a shower coupon to go take a number two. We ain't got time for that. We barely got enough time to pop these tanks open and fuel them up. So, what do we do? We grab maybe 75 gallons here, haul ass, 75 gallons over here, haul ass. If we got enough time to top it off, grab it, grab a little something. Go, but we don't have time for that. So she, she, she is just. She did her thing. I might have to say, she congratulations to her, because she riled up the internet. And, and the crazy part is, I read the comment and I refused to respond. And then you call me. I saw you call the first time. I rolled over and looked at the floor. And I said, right, I call him back. And then when you called back, I thought something was wrong. That's why I answered. I refused to have, I, I was going to make a comment early on her page when I saw the post. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to feed it to that goofy shit. Because it makes no sense. And I'm going to say it again and again and again. Drivers, get your intel. Male, man, I don't know how they, what the new terminology y'all use and shit. <laughs> Bruh, get your intel. Do not be a fool about it. You got a family to get back home to. You got yourself to carry about out here on the road. And there's other people's family out here on the road. Get your intel. Don't listen to a, a, a person like her. And don't go out there thinking you different from guys that's been out here 40, 30, 20 years. We've been out here. We know. I've actually watched them change a bend in the road and make it straight. So I'm amazed. If you come across 80 now into Jersey, 
They used to be a two lane mountain. Now it's a four lane. They done dynamited the shit out of that mountain and put four lanes through there now. Maybe she just said that not being for real though. Like maybe, maybe again, it's just for internet, uh, you know, internet attention. You know, a lot of a lot of people does that now. You know, and and no, like no, you said no. earlier, you know, congratulations. You know, you broke the internet with with that comment, with that post. Yeah. So she maybe maybe real. she maybe she. No, no. I know she said what she said, but she said what she said for real. Read we read that last comment she wrote when she said I said what I said before that. Read the the, the line before that. She meant that. She's a scorned woman out here trucking. Yeah, she's a scorned woman out here trucking. She didn't want to be no truck driver, bruh. That wasn't her goal. That was not her mission in life. She failed. And now she's out here. And now that she's out here, she's going to, what they call, wreak havoc on everybody else because she failed at being a mother, a wife, a good woman because she didn't get the pleasures that they get. See, when she said a man is supposed to provide and take care of, she didn't she didn't make the mark. She missed it. Or she had it and lost it. So she's angry. So let me she's stop angry. you. Let me stop you right there. So as always, with my man DSS, gotta give a disclaimer. <laughs> this is his this is his opinion That's not right. the opinions of the host of the lockout man podcast and or the recruiter call channel or the host himself all right continue she's an angry woman bro whatever she failed at she's angry now young lady old swine whichever you may be you need to pull over and take a couple of minutes and talk to the Lord. Talk to your Lord and ask for forgiveness and get your woman card back and see if you can go back home and push that roast beef back up in you and tighten up because you can't be out here this angry. We've been out here doing this long before you even knew what a truck was or what the inside looked like. But then again, you might have been out here in the back of them trucks. <laughs> okay. But anyway, you're angry. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. We're going to still provide for our families. We're still going to take care of the women in our lives. And just like I said, and I'm going to say it this year, like I said, four years ago when lockout started, y'all the new lot lizards. So why are you upset? You got dick in every state you go. Have a nice day. Reptile wins. Fatality. Welcome to the round table, man. We we got a we got a, hey, we got a doozy. Yes, yes, <laughs> we got a doozy, bro. We got a doozy, man. Uh -oh. a young lady, young female <laughs> trucker. Uh broke. I, I want to say she broke Facebook today with her uh -oh. controversial posts, man. And I would like to get Ooh. your I'd like to get your thoughts on it, man. The post reads No man should be asking how the roads are. Get out there and drive, especially if you're a so-called trucker. Oh, Man, to be real with you, she got a point in one way, but at the same time, ain't no load worth no accident or no high insurance claim. And if you own your own truck, you think before you drink. You not gonna jump on that road and ride. You gonna look at the weather. You gonna check the stacks. But yeah, she, you know, she got a point, but she don't. Cause you gotta, you gotta have sense, especially in this crazy weather. You gotta have sense. You cannot just say, "Hey, man." I'm about to take this load. They paying good. Man, you better look at that weather. I know I just turned a couple of loads down last week. I ran south. And now I'm working my way back up because it didn't kind of lighten up a little bit. But, man, 
Yeah, she, yeah, you know, she. It's like a fifty-fifty with me when she say that, cause it ain't that ain't no grown man should be asking about the road. Shoot, it's called watch the news. You know, if you check the weather, know where you're going. You know, even ask a couple of drivers coming from that way if you go through some truck stops. Yeah, you know, it just depends on how she acting about it, you know. But you still asking about the roads, even if you're asking the drivers that's coming up from that way. Yeah, so she she don't have a point, but then she got a point, but she don't. She really kind of talking in circles, because, yeah, she don't ask for directions. If she's, call, if she's going to a certain spot and make a pit stop, and instead, if you're in one of these small towns, like I'm up here in Greensville right now, getting loaded in Tennessee, you know, yeah, it's, you know, it's the mountains. And if there's an issue, you're going to ask. You're going to stop one of the drivers or at a gas station or truck stop. But yeah, she knows she asks for directions. I'm pretty sure she's asked plenty of times, especially being a female. The, the first rebuttal is a man supposed to provide and protect by any means necessary. How can you let weather get in the way of your responsibilities when is women like me? Driving through all 48 states in adverse weather, I would have zero respect for such a man. Yeah, she don't, she ain't been through it yet. She ain't had that trailer wake up, wake that wake up call yet. I know I didn't had it in my years of driving. And that trailer start dancing behind you and you can't control it. You gonna start thinking, you know what I mean? So yeah, she just ain't had that wake up call yet. She been getting lucky. She one of them drivers, she ain't, been woke up yet so that's probably why she's talking all jazzy like oh i can do this all right keep playing in that snow and you're gonna find yourself in the ditch somewhere may not be this year may not be next year but yeah she just ain't had a wake-up call because any driver with experience and had the wake-up calls and they learn fast especially if you are on an operator or you're leasing your truck but if you're a company driver you don't care but then you will care once they throw that on your deck and say you can no longer work here you shouldn't have been on that road yeah, she ain't had a wake-up call yet. That's why she talking jazzy. And why she don't have a respect no man. Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. But I would just, uh, you know, speaking on that, like, far as, you, you know, she ain't had a wake-up call yet. She ain't had that 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 wake up call. I know I've had it multiple times with my first truck, and then people would tell me older drivers they say, "Why was you even out there? You could have almost screwed up." And that's your first truck. And then after from that point forward, I knew then, never again. If I don't care if that load paying twenty thousand dollars to go five miles, if I can't see down that road and it's whited out, shutting it down. I had to shut it down uh, last week when I was in Pennsylvania. Couldn't even get the trail in the door. It was empty, no weight on it. The parking lot slanted. It was in St. Mary's, Pittsburgh. Well, above Pittsburgh. St. Mary's, Pennsylvania, up there by the lake. Yeah, and I told that guy, I said, man, we good. We tried to pull it, chain it up, everything. I said, you know what? I'll wait till the plow man come through and I'm out of here in the morning. I'm going south. So, yeah, she ain't had that wake-up call yet. Uh, her commenter said, has nothing to do with gender. Everybody needs to exercise caution in this type of weather. Her rebuttal to that is... There's different age between caution, but still making things happen. And making excuses to be soft as hell as a man. Yes, it is about gender because my status is specifically talking about grown men, especially men. That work the same trade as I do. I said what I said. Oh no, yeah, she, she ain't had it happen. It's going to happen. And you know, the funny part about it, it's a matter of when. How long she going to continue to drive trucks, what year, what month. But you best believe the driver got that wake-up call. So if that trailer ain't started swinging around on her, she going to figure it out. All right. Yeah, that's what's going to end up happening. That's, that's what's going to happen. Watch. She, she talking reckless, but that weather ain't nothing to play with. She must be a new driver. No, I had the pleasure of uh, talking to this young lady a uh, couple of years ago. Nice, nice young lady. Yeah, she ain't, yeah, it ain't happening. It didn't happen to us all. She just ain't had that trailer break out and start dancing. I, I just think that this is a, a, a post which is very controversial. Uh, you know, this is definitely her opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, but let me ask you this, though. What if it's just, just 
you know, attention getting. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe she's not, you know, for real in the post. Maybe she just did this just to break Facebook today. What, what's your thoughts on I, that? To be honest with you, like I told you before about a lot of these folks when they come on, they, I, it's it be for attention. Cause I, me personally, that's just common sense. Anybody knows that driving in these conditions, you got even some rookies. They're not gonna do it. They'd rather get fired and get their check mailed to them before they go out like that. So I wouldn't doubt it. Cause if she's been, like you say, you spoke to her a couple of years ago, she has been driving for a minute. Yeah, it's either attention or you just ain't had that situation happen to you yet. And when it happens, boy, it's a, it's a heartbeat. It's a heartbeat you can't describe. It's like, that's it. I'm done. I, I might quit tonight. Like, uh-uh-uh. Bro, I, I, it happened to me. Like I said, it just, it, it, and that stopped me dead in my tracks. I said, oh, ain't no load more important than my safety or my insurance or other people's safety. But it could be both. It could be attention. But at the same time, she ain't got that rude awakening yet. Because you know how they go. That's like a man in the street. People that shot at you so many times, you've been shot, shot. And ain't died yet, but then that one fatal moment, it's a life changer. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm giving my life to God. I'm going to talk to the youth. I ain't doing this no more. But yeah, she'll figure it out. Who does she drive for? She own her, she independent? Yeah, I definitely, man, shoot. Like I said, I, I just don't think she had the rude awakening yet. If everybody been out here on the road for a minute and had some time, and they know to refuse, shut down, or hey, man, you can fire me. <laughs> or the broker just ain't got to deal with me no more. We can cut ties, but I'm not doing that. That's too risky. And I think maybe she's a truck. She's a company driver, maybe. That's what I'm guessing. Because every owner operator that knows better not to do that crap. We know not to drive these trucks in certain conditions. It's like, hell no. I'm cool. You, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even pay nobody to do it. I ain't finna do it. No matter how much the load costs, that's why, I don't know, people that talk like that, they kind of, it, it misses something, you know, it's something that's missing somewhere. It's like you need to uh, wake up, eat that experience. Then you'll figure it out. You're like, hell no, nah. because if she was in her own truck, I don't think she would be talking like that. I, I just don't, because your insurance is very important. I know if I wreck this damn truck, oh no. When I was in Pennsylvania the other night, I told them boys, I sleep here in the yard till the plow man come, and in the morning I'm gone. But I ain't moving this truck tonight. Now, a company driver, you're getting forced dispatch. You got to go. You got to be there. Yeah, you might not care because it's not your equipment, not your insurance, but that will go on your driving record. <laughs> Especially if the, if the road is considered, how can I say it? Um, if they shut down the roads. If there's a restriction or a ban on them like they do on the turnpike up north, if you get caught on that road, that's a fine. You can get told. Yeah, it's just, it ain't worth it. I, yeah, I think she's a company driver, probably just seeking some attention, wants some, you know, wants some play. Scorpion wins. Fatality. All right, you ready, bro? Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. The post says, No man should be asking how the roads are. Get out there and drive, especially if you're a so-called trucker. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you just talking just to talk. Shut up. If I ain't out there and I'm going out there, I want to know what to expect. Yeah, give me a heads up. That's all. I know how to do uh, how how to handle myself and what to expect. Don't talk about just get out there and drive. It's, it's all about anybody here ever heard of trip planning? You get ready to go to the grocery store. You get ready to go to Walmart. You don't poke your head outside to see what's going on out there. See if it's raining outside. See if it's snowing outside. See if you need a coat on. You just go out there. And whatever's going on, I'm just going to deal with it because I'm a man. Yeah, get out of here. Nobody want to hear that. Well, she got a couple of rebuttals uh, in her comment session. One in particular is to this commenter right here. He says, hell, even grown men want to make it home safe to his kids. 
Her rebuttal to that is... A man supposed to provide and protect by any means necessary. How can you let weather get in the way of your responsibilities when is women like me? Driving through all 48 states in adverse weather, I would have zero respect for such a man. You know what I said about that? I'm still going to say, shut up. Take your ass somewhere over there and sit down. What's the coldest weather she said she ever drove in again? I was up in Montana a couple years ago. Not Montana, take that. No, it was Montana. Hardy, Montana, outside of Billings. 27 below zero. I'm coming all the way from Washington State. Back across over to uh, Minneapolis. 27 below zero. Snow all over the place. I'm jumping all on the radio. All right, how about that? Uh, these westbound drivers. Somebody tell me what's going on over here on the eastbound side. What them roads look like. What do I need to do? What's going on? So what? You can't ask a question. You can't worry. Oh, so if the roads are too bad, they slick, they icy. That's why you see all them 18 wheelers all over there in the ditch. That's why today in Indiana, coming down 65, I see all them four wheelers sitting over there and the comedian. That's why I even seen uh, uh, a DOT sitting over there in the comedian. It's because people like her. Shut up. Nobody want to hear that. Shut up. Mm. I, I have a CB and I, I'm a I'm an advocate of having a CB in the truck. A lot of these new drivers, you know, get with these uh, companies. Look, don't even want drivers to have CVs but in their trucks. They don't truck. even have CVs in their trucks, and I'm a I'm a big advocate of a CB in a truck because if I come up on something, I'm going to definitely hop on this CB and be like, "Hey, what's who got eyes on up top? You know what's going on? What should I expect?" <laughs> Fatality. She comes back with another rebuttal, uh, this time uh, by the same young man. The young man says, has nothing to do with gender. Everybody need to exercise caution in this type of weather. Her rebuttal to that is, there's different age between caution, but still making things happen and making excuses to be soft as hell as a man. Yes, it is about gender because my status is specifically talking about grown men, especially men. That work the same trade as I do. I said what I said. Okay, and you and I both know. Let me, let me give you a rundown on what's going on here. She done had a conversation with somebody and somebody done made her mad. Somebody made her mad today. Or somebody made her mad uh, yesterday. So now she gonna sit there and let it fester. I do what? Grown ass man, this happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those, those are uh, uh, those men bashers. I see that a lot on Facebook. It's idiot women that got a narrow, closed mind perception on life and no they don't say that they think the world rotates around them they don't say it but everything about their actions dictate that they feel that the world rotates around them and everybody only men is wrong and if you ain't this you ain't that you did this that, and you. you know what i don't give a stupid rat's ass about what somebody else's opinion is about what I consider to be safe or not safe. I have slid on ice. I have driven in snow. I have driven in tornadoes. I've done U-turns and ran from tornadoes. Just because I turn around and go park and sit there and wait out a tornado. Oh, you a man. You supposed to be able to handle that. How stupid does that sound about putting me and 
and my freight and every damn body else out there on the road putting their safety in jeopardy because I'm a quote unquote man. Ain't you a human before you are a man? Human. Aren't you a person? You're supposed to have a little bit of sensibilities and intelligence about yourself before you are a man. Man, grow the hell up. Nobody want to hear that. She's just throwing stuff out there, man, just to get reaction. And then she's going to continue to say stupid stuff just to see what type of reaction she can get. Sitting back there laughing and giggling. <laughs> man, shut up. Let's touch on that attention sinking part right there because I, I would say, again, you know, this is Facebook. Maybe she just... Maybe she's not for real in the in in the post. Maybe she just maybe she just put it out there just to see what type of uh, what type of reaction that uh, people's going to take on this. I mean, do you think she's uh, for real in this post? I said what I said. Look, I just said what I said. I think she just uh, seeking attention in that. That's what I think. That's all I think she's doing, just seeking attention. And somebody done said something to her, I guarantee you that she done, somebody done said something to her and another group or on her personal page somewhere else. So here she comes ranting and raving and, you know, and making subliminal messages when she's just really talking about one person, but she gonna put it over here for everybody else to uh, comment on and this, that, and the other. Yeah. She can go get bent and twisted, man. I, I really don't care about idiotic people like that. It's idiotic people like that is the ones that you'll eventually find sitting over in a ditch somewhere talking about, well, uh, well, uh, why you got me coming down the road doing a smooth 40 mile an hour sitting over there looking at you like, damn, and you were doing 60 because you be braving this weather and you be doing what you have to do in order to get home. What does that got to do with anything? You tell me, Lockout Man, you tell me, what does that got to do with the cost of tea in China? What does that got to do with anything? So that's just her ranting and raving about nothing. Oh, I wasn't ready. Hi. Wonder Woman. Let me out.